All right, y'all, here we are back again. And this time I got a clip from uh, the Lapeef Network. Shout out to the Lapeef Network. Um, but I just want to show you that how emotional people can get and how misunderstandings can happen and miscommunication can happen. And what is the best way of handling a situation like this? In this middle of this situation, uh, Chicago Rilla is going to get himself caught up with uh, one of the ladies on uh, the Lapeef Network. And it's going to be uh, no bueno. Anyway, let's let's uh, let's take a look and see what's happening. Peef, let's talk. This is the same energy that got what's what's them Republicans that can't go on no college way. campuses anymore. No college campuses anymore. This is the same energy that got people showing up to congressmen while they out with their families eating dinners. Talk to them, Jay. This, this is the now, same. Chicago. Really, you own you the own it. You own energy. it, bro. This is the same. I understand, thing. but Chicago, all I was yeah, asking. Okay, say but that. That's the same. All I'm thing. asking. This is kind of the you're intro you're to not the about situation. to project your feelings about the entire whatever onto me. I'm asking, what did I K say that you disagree with? That's all I want to know. What okay. did I say? Okay, listen, okay. Let's, let's do it this way, K. Let's do it what, this way. What did I say? I'm not, Wait, wait, I'm not a big Tell me about what the entire no, LGBTQI no, no, no. community does. Right? Okay, I'm wait, wait. Saying, what did I... Okay, K finally just came apart, man. K finally just came apart. I mean, we I, I've been seeing it building up, and finally, uh, Rilla was uh, laying on the train tracks like uh, uh, what's that chick in the Dudley Do Right? Uh, the bad guys are always tying her up and putting her on the train tracks. Yeah, gorillas on the train tracks just like her. Nell Fenwick. Nell fin Fenwick. He just, he's on the train tracks tied up like Nell Fenwick. And here, and, she, and Kay just is going about to run him over. But let's see the entirety of the situation so we can get a better look at it. Say wait, that wait. you don't agree with. No, no. Remind me again. How did the LGBTQ community stand up for themselves? Because they said, look, this is not cool. We don't agree with it. That's it. Okay. So he asked her, how did they stand up for themselves? Now watch how their answer is going to be. Very important to later on. We're going to rewind the tape, okay? We, we'll, we'll follow up after this. Okay, but how can people be mad at the LGBTQI plus community for standing up for themselves and all of this just because other people aren't like but wait but can I, I, i'm not mad at them I'm, like me yeah like me I'm, I'm just bringing i'm just bringing awareness to it i'm not mad at anybody what awareness? okay so jr just said hey i'm not mad at the lbgt community i'm just saying if we're gonna put if we're gonna bring laws for them then there's other people I'm thinking the underlying references for that black people also need certain protections and we need just as much um, legal protections as anyone else is getting. If there's, if there's other people getting legal protections, then we should be getting the same protections at the very least, right? That's basically what I, my feelings of what JR was saying. I, of course, he's a grown man, he can speak for himself, but that's my interpretation of what he was trying to relate to her. Her 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 fuse was lit already. So um let's see how she handled it. Awareness. No. What yeah, exactly? The, the awareness that that the same energy that we give the L G B T community, that's it right? L G B T community, the same energy that we give them. It needs to be spread evenly across everything else. But the reason it's not is because the people who are in these groups that you're calling for spreading amongst aren't as um, fervent like about their, you know, whatever their cause is. Okay, so well, I'm, well, I'm, well, I'm not, I'm not mad at them. What I'm just saying. See how that's what they do. They keep telling you you mad. 
And he's like, I'm not mad. But she's like, you're mad. He's like, but I'm not mad. <laughs> I, I had just, just had this happen to me a week ago. And I was on live stream with an uh, LGBTQ person and some other people. And they just kept saying we were mad. Me and another brother were mad. And we were like, we're not mad. <laughs> we're just talking to you. <laughs> anyway, moving on. I'm bringing awareness to it. So when you bring awareness to it, it's going to be up. It's going to be a decision. A decision. Hey, I'm Talon, and this is Rumpus, and I'm going to show you how to start an online t-shirt business. Let's go. First, go to shop. Decision that needs to be made amongst like, whomever to address it. So if this if this woke up two people that's in the black community, then two people woke, and then guess what? They're going to well, wake the next two people up. Well, then why don't you say that directly instead of trying to make but it? I thought it was understood. Good. Did, did anybody else? Well, did you understand what I was saying, really? No, let me say. Let me just do you better, Lauren. Did you understand, Lauren? Lauren, when I said what I said, did you understand? And be honest. I understood. I did. Okay. But, Chicago gorilla. Did you understand? Go ahead yeah. with your butt. Go ahead with your butt. I. But I. 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 I agree with Kay as well. <laughs> like, no. Uh oh. Don't do that. Listen, no, it's, I just, it's, it's thank you for your Family, family, please pause one second. Kay, I'm really trying to understand because you said, how can anybody be mad at the LGBTQ community standing up for themselves? And what I my ask, what my question is, is how did they stand up for themselves? The now we saying how did he stand how did they stand up to themselves in the situation with the baby when he said all that hold up your phone if you're not out in the parking lot sucking on you know what right so chicago real's question to k is how did they stand up for themselves like what did they do that showed they stand stood up for themselves now listen to this answer very carefully the fact that people can get canceled the fact that okay did you hear what she just said? She said the fact that people can get canceled. Okay? Remember that. It's going to be very important later on in this uh, clip here. You can't say anything. The fact that you... Now, she said you can't say anything. Meaning, it doesn't matter whether you're correct. It doesn't matter whether what you're saying is right or wrong. It doesn't matter. You just can't say anything when it comes to the LGBTQ community. You can't say anything. You can't have. You can't say anything to them about something they're doing or something that they're doing that might be affecting other people. That you feel, hey man, maybe what you're doing is affecting other people. It'd be like a smoker. You can't say nothing. To you. Hey, that smoke is, you know, might bother these little kids. So what? Uh, you know, we're gonna can counsel you for saying something about smoking, you know, or drinking or whatever. Whatever, weed smoking, whatever it is. Anyway, very important. She said they can cancel people. That's very important. Remember that. Cannot be out here being homophobic. Okay. She said you can't be out here being homophobic. Okay. So this man saying that uh, put your phone up if you're not out there, um, you know, sucking on uh, male genitalia in the parking lot. That is that considered homophobic? I guess so, right? So let's look up the, the word homophobia. Homophobia, dislike or prejudice against gay people. Was he being, was he was he promoting a dislike of gay people? I don't know, it doesn't sound like it, but I wasn't there. Maybe he was, but I wasn't there. Just on based on what I've heard so far, I would have to say, I you know, all right, let me say it like Dave Chappelle. I have to wait until all the facts come out to make my judgment on that. Was he pre was he being prejudiced against gay people? Well, I never heard him say that any gay people should be hurt, maimed, killed, uh, canceled, uh, any bad thing should happen to them. So, um, or they should be not able to, you know, buy or sell anything or be amongst, you know, in the community or nothing. Just heard him say something about an, an act. So that's where I'm coming from. So I don't know. Like I said, I wasn't there. I would hardly ever, probably never, you wouldn't catch me at a, at a baby concert 
I mean, <laughs> that would be way out of way way out of my out of my league. The baby is way out of my league, way out of my league. So I wouldn't even I can't even relate to that kind of music, uh, quote unquote. But I get it. A lot of youngsters like him, and uh, you know what I mean. And uh, well, let me let me don't go into that right now. Let's stick with the topic, and the topic right now is K not K kind of slipping into the a zone of the, the the zone that I think a lot of these women or a lot of the LGBT community people sponsor type people go into. They you hit that nerve, and they go into a zone, and now. Reason and logic cannot enter. Okay, so let's go. Let's continue. Because people will make it into a problem, which I agree with. Like well, you shouldn't should be homophobic. Well, but he didn't. But no one said that you should be homophobic, right? But she, she putting that out that like, hey, you guys are saying you you guys are okay with being homophobic? Who, which one of them said that, or anything close to that? Like I said, logic and reason goes out the window. Okay. But that's that's the point that I'm making. Is that he was at a no, honestly, Kay, honestly. You're changing. Oh, okay. No, no, honestly, Kay, this me and you. Now, real talk. He's at a festival full of people from all types types of life in Florida. He's in Miami. I think it's in Miami. And mm-hmm. LGBTQ in the audience. And mm-hmm. so being in the parking lot. Is something that happens. Okay, but I'm speaking to what Jr. just said. He literally just said the same way that the LGBTQI plus community does this. Maybe we should think about this. He just said it. I agree. I I, I heard what he said. Okay, so he that's what it. I'm address. That's what I'm addressing. But when okay, now we're doing the stick and move. Now he addressed what she asked. He asked her a question. She didn't answer it. Now he's trying to he's trying to make it even clearer the question, and she's sticking and moving. Women do this all the time; they stick and move. So now, instead of her, she's not going to allow him to, she's not going to allow him to clearly lay out the scenario properly. What she's going to do is keep sticking and moving. Okay, so now, first, her, she was responding to his question. Now she's talking about what she was responding to to his question when he's not even in the mix anymore. Okay, let's continue. No, but what you said was how can anybody be upset at them taking up for themselves? And I'm like, well, where did they stand up for themselves? And I'm- Okay, so Rilla asked the question again. What, how did they stand up for themselves? What did they do? Where? What did they, what did they do? Now she already answered this question by saying, oh, they can cancel people. That can make people not be able to work and on and on, right? Okay, so he, she already answered this question. So he asked it to her again, give her a chance to maybe s- smooth out her answer a little bit because she didn't really – she she gave a really bad answer. He t- asked her again, try to give – she's so upset, he tried to, you know, hey, well, maybe she stepped on her own toe, maybe give her another shot at it so she could try to smooth it out. Let's see what she say. I'm telling you that the way that they stand up for themselves is by not allowing the certain things to be said without it coming with a social consequence. Yeah, and I that's, think- that's where we disagree. But, but like, so Rilla was saying, hey, it, he didn't say nothing directly to that group. He was saying it to the whole group, encompass the whole group had LGBT and non-LGBT people in it, and it was nothing directed directly at them. Uh, you know, that's, this is what Rilla is trying to express to her. But as you can see, she is not going to allow that logic to take place here. She's not going to allow it to take place. So let's go ahead. Let's see. And I'm glad. I hope a lot of women watch this because this is what women do all the time. A lot of men watch this because um, we're going to have to talk about how you can get out of this situation. See, most of the time this happens one on one. He's got a community here, but. Most times happens one on one. Anyway, moving on. I think that a lot of us need to take no, something from their damn playbook. No, ma'am. And that's where you and I will. I'm gonna tell you. That's where you and I disagree because, like, uh, what do we disagree about? Wait, wait, wait. What okay, 
He just she just said we need to take something from their playbook. And, you know, interpret meaning the canceling, the canceling people, and and uh, you know, assuming that everything is everything is a personal attack to this one group, right? So he's saying no, that's not what we should be. I disagree with you on that. We will can't if we black people we can't assume every time somebody starts talking about chicken, they talking to us. Uh, somebody stand up at a concert and say, "Go out there and get you some KFC right now." And we'd be like, what? Oh, man, you know, now we got, now you, you know, you negrophobia, right? We, we can't assume that all the time. They don't directly, uh, 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 we could take it maybe on the low, but we have to just take, sometimes you got to just take it on the low because you don't really know. You don't have a definitive way of resolving whether they're actually talking to your group or not, which is the case in this situation as far as I can see it. It looks like the same, really feels the same way about it. But anyway, so now he's going to try to, this is probably time number three or four, that he's going to try to lay a logical path down so she can see it, and she is not going to allow that to happen. She's not going to allow it to happen. Watch. We agree about Okay, listen. I agree that there's not freedom of speech without consequence, but let me tell you something. This but what's the thing that we disagree about? First, that, tell me that. Wait, Be very I'm explicit. Sure we disagree on this on this particular point explicitly. Where so now she asked him a question, and now he's trying to answer it. Okay, now let's see if she's gonna let him answer it. We disagree. Is that if I don't like what you say, I have every right to shut you down, shout you down, and cancel. When did I say do that? Remember in the beginning when you answered the question, you said he he asked you. How did you stand? How do they stand up for themselves when they can cancel people? They can shut people down. That's what you said. That's what you said. Okay. Now let's see what her answer is now. So she said, "Now, when did I say that? Uh, in the beginning, about five minutes ago." <laughs> you just said that's what the LGBT. What, what, what does that have to do with me and you? Just okay. Okay. Did you see that? That was a slick move. So that was a slick move. Now, she asked him a question. He gave her a direct answer and told her exactly what she said back. Instead of her addressing that and saying, oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe this is what I should have said or this is what I meant. Or standing on the square saying, yeah, I said it. And that's how I mean. You know, she, she quickly realized that she was, if she allowed logic to come into this situation, she's, done she quickly realized that so she is can't not let logic enter right remember truth is falling in the streets and justice stands a fall why justice can't come because truth is in the street somebody done hit truth over the head and knocked it out and, and truth is laying in the street there and people walking right past him not even trying to help him up or nothing so justice stands a fall off. Justice can't come in. Justice can't enter because truth is done in the street. They homeboys. Right? Mr. Farrakhan said truth and justice, they met, they embraced each other. But getting back to this situation. Uh yeah. So now we're gonna see. The the manipulate uh, this is a good lesson for how women do when faced with logic and having to deal with the fact that they may have said something that doesn't make sense. He is not she is not going to allow logic to enter into this conversation. She's going to keep running him around and around the merry-go-round. Disagreeing. I'm saying that that's the that's reality. No, no, that's why I said. I what said, are you talking about? What do me and you disagree about? He already told her what he disagreed about. And she said, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> All right. So now she's asking him again, what do we disagree about? He already told her. Okay. So she obviously, there's no logic. She's not going to let this dude logically break it down. But let's see. I, I want you to see it for yourself, not me breaking it down. That's what we disagree about. What do we disagree about? Okay. 
that somebody has the right to shut you down, shout you down, and cancel you. If when they- did I say that people have the right or should do that? In the beginning? You said that when you said, I asked you, I said, how did the LGBT community stand up for themselves? And, and I told you. And that's what you said. So what are you with? You're not being succinct with your points. I have no idea. You're making things up. <laughs> succinct? What is he making up? She, he's he's making them up. What is succinct? Let me see if I can look that up. What is that? I don't even know how to spell succinct. What's that? Succinct is like a boat sink. Succinct. Let me come. I don't know. I tried to look up the word. Oh, succinct. Okay, succinct. S U C C I N C T. Okay. Uh, marked by compact, precise expression without wasted words. Don't sound like he's wasting any words to me. But uh, damn, give a girl a college degree, man. She can put you. She can push you away. Well, that was supposed to push him away, but uh, Rilla was like a pit bull on her, and, and he ain't going nowhere. He's like a a pit bull with a nice smile right on her. Anyway. I'm, I don't think I am on this one. You guys. are. You're making things up. What, what is it? Okay, what did he make up? He told her straight out. And she said that, but she's so emotional she forgot, right? Or she just realizes that if I let this man go down a logical path, I'm going to be shown as I'm, I'm going to be made to look like I don't know what I'm talking about. And I am not going to allow that to happen. This is what many black women have this attitude. And usually Kay isn't like that. But <laughs> uh, another thing Minister Farquhar said, he said, yeah, most people on the surface, you don't see no racist type things. And he was talking about all colors of people. He said, but he said, but if you poke them enough, they'll start. <laughs> it'll start coming out. Stuff will start coming out from the sur- from the bottom to the surface, like a volcano. That lava will start coming out, and this stuff is coming out of K. K. Is usually a lot more composed than this. I'm surprised at her, but she's usually a lot more composed than this. Even though uh, I don't, what I don't like about uh, this is that a lot of times they attack K and they they put her out there on a raft. But she's like that. Eskimo they put on the raft by herself out there most of the time. I usually feel for her. But this in this situation, she is way out there. She is way out there. Anyway, but she is pretty much textbook black woman. A lot of, t- you know, not all of them, uh, but a lot of them that just will not accept logic. Okay, will not say submit to the logic. Don't sub- if you can't submit to me because you don't feel me personally. That's fine, but you should at least submit to the logic. Two plus two is four. You got to submit to the mathematics of the situation. But but only black women they don't have to submit to to the mathematics of the situation. They can create their own mathematics, as we're gonna see here. If if I say Chicago. What do you disagree with me about? Which he answered. Give me a thing that I said that you disagree with. He told with. you twice. I feel like I'm going to answer on again, okay? But just tell me what. <laughs> no. Okay, we're not going to do this. Jokes and laughs and all these things. No, 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 no. I said four different. So let's walk down again and let's make sure that you, you stop me when I'm saying something wrong. Okay. Okay. So JR said what he said, right? Hold okay. on. Then you said, well, how can you fault the LGBTQ plus quotient I community standing up for themselves? You disagree with that? No. Okay, I, I'm trying to get to the part where you see, see, so now she's just throwing ridiculous statements out there. Of course, she didn't disagree with the fact that the LGBT community should stand up for themselves. Just ridiculous, right? Okay. Okay. I said K because mm-hmm. the baby said. Whatever he said. Mm-hmm. And you said they were standing up for themselves. As a result of what the baby said, right? You, um, you still here? I said, how can you fault? Wait, them? wait, wait. As a, wait, the baby said, hold your phones up if you're not sucking peen in the parking lot. Yes? 
Okay. okay. Now, the LGBT community's response to what he said is what you said they were standing up for themselves. Yes or no? Right. Like, right. like, we're not going to let you be out here being whatever, homophobic or whatever. Honestly, I don't know what the baby... I, I'm familiar and, with and, 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 and so but, And so maybe even more so, okay? Just, just hear me out. What do you disagree with that I said? Yeah, she's asking the same question she asked. That's probably the eighth time she's asked it. And he answered it already twice. But he, every time he tries to answer it again, she won't let him. I can tell you. Let me tell No, him. no, no. He's grown. Let him tell himself. Right. So now this sister here was about to break it down in a nice way. where she, But she don't want it to be in a she don't want it broken down properly she wants him because she can still go at him and she knows that he is really is such a what's the word i, I want to call him a nice guy because i respect rilla but i'm just saying he's not the type of dude that's going to just jump on a sister like this even though she's wrong in two left shoes he's not going to just jump on her like that so that's why she's going at him with all of her teeth she don't want this sister to jump into it because this sister is going to add credibility to what his what he's saying. She doesn't want that to happen, so she knocked her out the box. No, 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 no. He's a grown man. He can do it even by himself. Yeah. I'm usually on K's side because they always dogging her out, but this time, whew, can't, I can't roll with you, K, this time. What is the thing? No, I'm, I, I, I told myself. I'm okay. telling okay. you, when you said, listen. When you said that the way that a community stands up for themselves is that if they don't like what you're saying, right, you no longer have freedom of speech. I have the right to shut you down, shout you down, and cancel you. And you specifically said cancel. Now, I'm injecting shut down, shout down, right? But you specifically said cancel. No. Rewind the tape. Yo, yo. rewind the tape. Because my thing is... That is the reality. That's the reality. And what what I, is she talking about? What is she talking about? We know this is the reality. All we're talking about is reality. None of us got a comic book here. We're talking about reality. That's what we're talking about. What? <laughs> what is this chick talking about? But like I said, she's going to drive you on a whole bunch of different roads so you can't get to your destination. <laughs> Typical black woman. Typical. I'm not saying all black women, so don't send me some. You saying all black women do that? No, of course not. I'm saying this is a typical uh, defense mechanism for when they are wrong. They are way wrong, and they will not allow that to be. They will not allow you to put a ladder and show how they wrong step by step. They will not allow to do it. So they cannot allow logic to enter in. So they have to keep this crazy, do, 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 do. they got to keep the merry-go-round going so that no no, no logical, uh, you know, no logic uh, can be derived from the situation. Is that not the reality? How can you disagree? Okay, we can't do that. Hello, how can you disagree with me about what the reality is? He never disagreed with her about the reality. See how she, see, see how she, that's a that is what is called an hominem attack, where he was answering her question. She decided to make a whole nother uh, situation and then get him for not dealing with that situation. Well, that wasn't the that wasn't the original situation. The original situation is you asked him how do he disagree with you, and he told you. And instead of you addressing that, now you are saying how does he. How do you disagree? You just keep asking them the same question over and over again. Like everybody else on the panel can see he answered your question more than once. <laughs> You're the only one that's stuck in the twilight zone. But, you know, like I said, like you're proving Kevin Samuel's point. Uh, black women have a need to be right. You have to be right. You cannot be proven wrong. And it's just not going to happen. It's not. And if you got to throw logic out the window to do it, if you got to make everybody, if you got to stop logic from coming, you'll do it. Just as long as 
you don't allow this man to say you was wrong and you have to say, you know what, you're right, I was wrong. What I'm saying, no, what I'm saying, I'm disagreeing, I'm not disagreeing what reality is. So then what are you disagreeing with? That you said they have the right to do that. That's how they're standing up for themselves. I literally said, how can we be mad at them for standing up for themselves? I said that. I didn't say they should cancel people. I didn't say- Whoa, whoa. You said that's how they stand up for themselves, canceling people. That's what you said in the beginning. That's why she's laughing. That's why he's laughing. That's why he's laughing. And that's why she's laughing. Because they all heard you say that. And if Courtney was there, Courtney would be laughing. They all heard you say that. They all heard you say that. And now you will not allow this man to at least even bring that back up. You won't even bring that back up. I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe I caught K on a bad day. You know what I'm saying? Maybe K, maybe K got off of work, smoked some weed or something, and she forgot. Or I don't know, man. Maybe. Well, let's see. Was, how do they how do they stand up for themselves? What? How uh -huh. did they stand up for themselves, Kay? How did the LGBTQ community in this instance saying that this is not cool or whatever? The baby is not canceled. He's still out here selling records and doing whatever. He's not canceled. But you're the one that started, you're the one brought up canceling somebody. You're the one that brought that up. <laughs> so what are you even talking about? What do you disagree with? I'm just trying to get to the root. Because he disagreed with the fact that you said they could cancel you. And so that's what he, instead of sitting down and talking about it, they could just off you, off, they could just lop your head off without even talking, to, without even sitting down and having to come to the table and sit down and talk to you about it. They can just lop your head off, right? Right or wrong, don't matter. A lot of times people are like, I disagree with you. And then when they talk about the things they did, there are things that I didn't even say. So what is it exactly? But you did say it. You did say it. As you'll see when you look this over. Exactly that I said that you disagree with. Hey, look, this is like we in Facebook on day one all over again. Look. Look, all right, we said it. We said it. Chicago. All right, y'all, we got a. Hey, hey, we got some guests. We're taking it way back. I didn't want to hear Lauren, though, uh, JR. I didn't want to hear what Lauren had to say. We're changing ahead, the Lauren. topic. Okay. No, I was just answering. Now she's saying we're changing the topic. Nobody changed the topic but her. But she, I'm glad she, well done, Kay. Well done. Well done. You've been hiding that for a long time, and it finally came out. <laughs> and Kevin Samuels was absolutely right. A need to be right all the time, and that is, that is the downfall of almost any woman. But anyway your question because you asked Kay she gave you the answer and then you inserted what you interpreted her answer to be and I'm telling you that because I agree with Kay that we can't be mad at the LGBT but he never said nothing about being mad he didn't interpret it he said told her back what she said LGBTQ community for standing up for themselves and you said how do they do that my answer would be by calling him out and the consequences of calling him out have nothing to do with the LGBTQ community. It has everything to do with their, like, the, the power of, like, the strength in numbers. They have strength in numbers. He's going down a slippery slope, fam. This is the same energy that got, what's, what's them Republicans that can't go on college campuses anymore? This is the same energy that got people showing up to congressmen while they out with their families eating dinners. Talk to them, this is I mean, the same. Really, you own, you own it. You own it, bro. This is the same. I understand, but Chicago, all I was asking. I didn't say but that. That's the same. All I'm asking, you're, you're not about to project your feelings. Oh, damn. Now he's projecting. <laughs> Now, in this situation, who's projecting? <laughs> that is supposed to try to help her, but, you know, you can't help the wicked, man. <laughs> okay, you know, today, you got your witch hat on today. Not not good. Feelings about the entire whatever, 
on to me. I'm asking what did I K say that you disagree with? That's he all told I you three know. times. What did I say? Let's do it this way, Kay. Let's do it. What did I say? Wait, wait. I'm not a bit. Tell me about what the entire LGBT community does. Okay. She is not about to let him logically break it down to her because she's going to have to eat some, you know, humble pie if she does. So she's just not going to allow it to happen by screaming over him. Another black, another top, another black woman uh, tactic. They can't, if, if they can't get you to back down, they're going to start screaming at you to make you back down. Right, they scream at you to make you go away, because right in American society, it's not who's right. Whoever's loudest is the rightest, right? Whoever's louder is righter, <laughs> right? Like I said, you know, might makes right here, right? So if you scream louder than him, you right, according to her, right? <laughs> Wait, wait, what did I say that you don't agree with? No, remind me again. How did the LGBTQ community? Okay, he asked her a fifth time. I believe that's the fifth time he asked her the same question, giving her a chance to maybe straighten her answer out so they could have a logical debate. Stand up for themselves. Because they said, look, this is not cool. We don't agree with it. That's it. We're going to rewind the tape, okay? We, we'll, we'll follow up after this. So, which her answer was cool. That was no problem. But that just wasn't what you said in the beginning. That's what he disagreed with. If you had said that in the beginning, he wouldn't have never disagreed with you. That's not the baby what, is literally not canceled. That's said, Lauren. I didn't say he was canceled. Even the attempt at canceling somebody, that doesn't mean you succeed when you cancel somebody. What are you They tried to cancel Kanye. Kanye not canceled. What is your question? You're saying. <laughs> Here we go again, man. Here we go again. This girl is not about to let the truth come out. <laughs> she just will not admit it, man. And nothing you can do. Look, JR looking down like, damn. 20 minutes on this, or uh, 15, what is it, 15, 13 minutes on this. Uh, Anton is like, I, I need to buy another pair of shoes. This chick is like, man, I tried to help my sister, but. She just, she's so on one right now. This chick is falling asleep. Man, Rilla's like, but see, this is, listen, this is what I'm telling you. This is at the point where you got to realize you're talking to somebody that does not, you got to realize this person is doing this on purpose, right? See, for a while, Rilla was like, no, no, you just don't understand. But now he's getting it to see, oh, this chick is doing this on purpose. This is a smoke screen she's setting up on purpose. Okay, now I see this is being done on purpose because she does not want truth to enter in. So to keep the truth from coming in, she got to run you around the circus. All right. What did they do? They said, we don't like it. That's literally what they did. And now what are you asking me? You're trying to back me into some kind of... What, what are you saying? saying? Now she's saying he's trying to back her into a corner. <laughs> All he was doing was asking her about what she said earlier. <laughs> JR, bring up the call. I'm, I'm, no, no. I see now. Good. Hey, good for you, Rilla. Now you finally realized this broad is doing this on purpose. Now you now you see. See, first you thinking, oh, man, I, maybe she misunderstood me. No, she didn't misunderstand you. She is doing this on purpose. You got it now. Now you got it, Rilla. No, <laughs> now you got it, Rilla. Good for you. Or change the topic. Good for you. Or play a sound when it's something that is real. I am specifically asking you, what did I say that you don't agree with? He already told you that three times. Go ahead. What don't you agree with, Chicago? He already told you that. <laughs> He is a, that's what happened. Yeah. Just ain't nothing. She's doing yeah, it on purpose. I just said it multiple times, but yeah. we can move on. You're no. right. Oh, no, no, you're right. Oh, you're right. No, 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 no. That I don't agree with. Don't do that. Don't say you're right. I'm wrong. Just leave it. Don't don't respond. Don't just say you're right. I'm wrong. Don't do that either. 
Because once they see they can bend your arm behind your back, that's what they're going to expect to do all the time. No, no, no. You just leave it. You just don't respond no more. Okay. That's the way you feel. That's the way you feel. We can talk about it later. But don't never, if you don't, if you don't feel something, don't say, okay, you right, just to make that person back down because they're not going to back down. You and what, you, what you're actually doing is putting logs on their fire. Don't do that, okay? All right, that's the only thing I disagree with what Rilla did here. I, 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 I misquoted you. And and I'm out of oh, practice. yeah, this is totally a 100% wrong what he's doing now. And I apologize. But no. Is that- why should, wait a minute, Rilla, what, why should you apologize? Why should you apologize for trying to bring the truth? Look at Anton. Anton is like, what the hell? Why are you apologizing? They was with you until you did that. Me too. JR is looking like, what the hell? Why you do that? Why are you why are you apologizing for something where you didn't do anything wrong? She was the wrong one. Why are you apologizing? But see, that's how most of you guys live your life with women. You're apologizing to them, and they're the ones with both feet in the mud. You're apologizing to them. They got mud all over their shoes and in the house, and there's mud all on the carpet, and that you apologize. Just, you just, You're apologizing for getting mud on the carpet, and it wasn't even you, it was her. Saying stuff, or? Y'all got a woman. I'm well-versed in this. <laughs> sad, sad, sad situation. So, anyway, um, I don't know, man. That was a sad situation. Um, you know, but I didn't know Rilla was going to do that at the end, man. Wow, man. You threw, you flushed you. all that good work you had done down the toilet, for Rilla. Man, I wish I wish you hadn't done that. But I understand, man, you know, sometimes we get raised a certain way where we feel like we got to subjugate to women. Uh, no matter how wrong they are, we got to we gotta act like we was the wrong one. Anyway, um, I, I don't agree with that at all. Uh, not for a long term, a good long term relationship. No, I don't agree with that. Anyway, um, what y'all think? Was K out of pocket? Was real out of pocket? Should he should he have just did that from the beginning? Right? He should have just su- submitted to her from the beginning, even though she was wrong. It's two left shoes. He should have submitted from her to in the beginning. I mean, if you're gonna submit like that, you might as well submit it in the beginning. Right, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have wasted thirteen minutes and fifteen seconds on that anyway, or is I'm right? Is is am I wrong? I don't think you should submit to nobody if you ain't wrong. You trust in God and you just keep stepping. Let the chips fall where they may. Either God's with you or God's with that other person. You'll find out. And if you get if God is with that person then you going to be with God when you get your behind beat. But at least you on the right team now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, man, always stand on your square, man, no matter what. No matter what. I can, The only time I could even see somebody remotely doing something like that, and it's, you shouldn't even do it like that, is with a woman that's in your own home. You climbing in the bed, you eating dinner with somebody like that. You submitting to somebody who you're not even in a physical relationship with? What's going on? That's ain't your mama or relative or nothing? What is going on? Rilla, that was that was a bad look, Rilla. And I like Rilla, man. I like Rilla. But but that was a bad look, man. I like K too, but that was a bad look for both of y'all, really. But anyway, tell me what y'all think, man. I just think that. That was a good, uh, in the in the in the sense of what a, a woman can do to block you from actually getting something accomplished in a discussion. I think it was a great example. Kay did a marvelous job, textbook of how a woman could just throw away logic and just make you look like you cr- try to make you look like you the crazy one. And she crazy as hell. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Fair use, fair use, fair use. And, uh, you know, to the Lapeef people, you know, if y'all want me to take this video down, just let me know. And I'll do it. 
You know what I mean? I don't mean to steal your content. I just thought this was something interesting to talk about. All right.